Police this morning searching for answers after a total of 12 people at least were wounded in separate shootings. One of them took place at a massive party on the city's near west side. Nine people were shot there. Julia LeBlanc joins us now live. Julia, first of all, this started out with a gathering which, even though it had hundreds of people, was peaceful for most of the day, right? That's right, Dan, until it was not. And now police say that there were a few hundred people gathered in this parking lot just behind the WCNY building on Saturday night when those shots rang out. And in the time of the COVID-19 pandemic, we're told this event was not approved by city leaders. That shooting now leaving a 17-year-old male in critical condition, fighting for his life at Upstate University Hospital at last check. Eight other people, ranging from the ages of 18 to 53, were also shot. But police on Saturday saying they expect those victims to survive. Police say it was just before 9 o'clock at night when they got a call for a stolen vehicle near the area of Marcellus and Wyoming streets. When they got here, they found hundreds of people screaming and running away from the scene, where nine people were shot before police arrived. Police now trying to pick up the pieces from another violent night in the city. We need to be thinking about and praying for those victims and their families. Uh, and uh, I also, as I, as I look around the scene, I, I certainly appreciate uh, our police officers and all of our law enforcement agencies coming together. Um, this is a, a, a tragic incident. Uh, sounds like it could have been much worse given the, the, the size of the crowd. Now, police say they do not have a suspect or suspects at this time. Last time we checked in with them, but they are asking anyone who was in this parking lot on Saturday night, maybe they were an eyewitness, maybe they have video, call police, tell them everything you know. That number is 315-442-5222, and there are ways to do that anonymously. Live on the West Side, Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9.